Shalom, Kahalayimla, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chokadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sons of Akim out there that's pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the Great Millstone, Miami Camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. Okay, this is just going to be something quick. I'm going to play this clip, okay, that I got from uh, NBC News. And it says, Chimpanzee is awestruck after seeing open sky after 28 years in a cage. Okay. And this, this is sad. It's a sad video. Okay. But this just goes to show you that once again, this man is the devil. Okay, who the so-called white man Esau Edom? He is the devil. Okay, and and he 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 he's the devil indiscriminately. Okay, we understand that he hates our people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He hates with a passion because of uh, you know several reasons, mainly because of the birthright that the Lord has for us. But it's a it's a spiritual thing. But this devil, he hates the Most High. He hates God. He hates the Most High's creation. He hates the planet Earth. And he he feels as though it's uh, up to him to, to be a better God. To try to outdo the Most High. Okay? So he, he, he takes... The creation of the Most High and and abuses it, okay, uh, tortures it, and and tries to manipulate it into what he wants. That's why they they'll have these different chimpanzees and different animals, and they run experiments on them and then do all type of uh, wickedness to them in the name of science and health, okay. But uh, I'm going to play this clip and get a couple of scriptures. You see that? A chimpanzee awestruck from looking at the sky, man. Just from looking at the sky. That, that shouldn't be. A chimpanzee shouldn't be awestruck just from looking at the sky. That should be normal. Okay. And then you got the, the, the other chip as he tapping them like, hey, bro, hey, you got more to see. That ain't, you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, but this is the chimpanzee's first day out of a cell after 28 years. Look, let's read. It says the chimpanzee was awestruck when she saw open sky for the first time at a Florida sanctuary after spending 28 years living in a cage. That's that's. Can, can you imagine that? Being 28 years in a freaking cage, and 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 uh, it goes on to say. Something that's been open air. The chimp named Vanilla spent years in a New York research lab. So you already know they was running all type of experiments on her. Doing God knows what. And 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 the crazy thing is is the chimpanzee is probably about to die. The chimpanzee is probably about to die. That's probably why he uh he probably uh, is about to, uh, she's probably about to die. That's probably why they want to get rid of her. <laughs> you see, just just wicked. Being before being moved to a California wildlife sanctuary, where she also lived in a cage. So they're just moving her from cage to cage. But you see that as soon as she jumped out. The, the other chimp gave gave her a hug, a real hug. That's that's you, man. These animals, they're they're not just dumb. 
Okay, they're very smart. They have emotions, they have feelings. Okay? And and the scriptures speak about how we ought to deal with the animals, man. The the the, the most high gave Adam which was not the slack in this the the first man created but uh, he was the man the most I chose to basically be the, the ruler of the earth and to rule with wisdom. He gave him the breath, which is the wisdom, knowledge and understanding, okay, the, 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 the Holy Spirit, so that he could be able to judge righteous judgment in the earth and that his line would, would be uh, the, 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 the sons of God, the rulers of the earth. Okay, but we know the story. We know what happened. But the Most High, you know, taught, you know, show Adam how to how to deal with the animals. He even show Noah how to deal deal with the animals. Okay, the Most High gave man uh, put put the, the 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 fear of animals, of beasts in, 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 into man. I mean, so like a f fear of man into the beast. So then the, the, the us as men we rule over the earth but there's a way to to rule there's a way to rule the earth and, and but be in, in harmony with the earth at the same time Esau Edom is not in harmony with with the most highest creation everything he does which is supposedly good has a, a negative effect on the planet earth okay Let's get some scriptures. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 12 and 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beasts, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So the righteous regardeth the life of his beasts. So uh, uh, the righteous, which is supposed to be uh, the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, the true rulers that the Lord will set up on the earth, when we when we get into power and authority, we're not gonna be just torturing and abusing animals, man. Like this devil does, go and hunt for sport, just kill animals, torture them, do all type of experiments on them. You got fucking bestiality legal in multiple states throughout America. And is we can't don't even want to get started on the animals that we that we eat for meat, the way they're treated in these different meat processing plants and factories. Animals supposed to be on farms, man, out in 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 nature, not in no damn cell. But that's how this devil does. What the scripture tell you was that Revelation two and ten, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So that show you this devil, he, he just love putting people in prison. Especially our people, the Israelites. But it's not just our people. He, he love putting animals in prison. He got these damn zoos. Should be no damn zoo. You want to go out and, and see some animals? Go out into nature where they supposed to be and go look at them. That's why you got these uh, orca, these killer whales hunting down boats now. Which is a... a, a Something never heard of. Because the earth is, is starting to fight back. The earth is tired of this devil. Okay, not just us, but you, you got Israelites talking about they don't hate the white man. The earth hates the, the so-called white man. These animals are tired of this devil. Okay, this is Romans chapter 8. And, uh... I'll start at uh, 20, I'll start at 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. So there's going to come a time where the, the true sons of God are going to be made manifest to the earth. The true rulers, the rightful rulers. And as it says in, uh, what's that, Proverbs, what's that, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear through, the people mourn. And that goes not only for people, but for animals as well. 
you have bees dying. They just had uh, the second most deadliest uh, season of, of, of bees death, of bee, bees dying in, in, in on record, which without the bees, you have no life. You got all these different fish, thousands of fish are just coming up ashore. And dolphins and whales beaching themselves. Birds falling out of the sky. Why? Because this this man is the devil. He poisoned in the air, poisoned in the water. Taking all of the, the oysters, shrimp and crab and lobsters that's supposed to clean the ocean. Taking it out of the ocean and feeding the people. Killing them. And, and, and uh, you know, profiting all off of it. While the earth is dying. This man has to be stopped. That's why Yahweh Shai said, "What if, if, uh, if, if uh, the days were not uh, uh, sped up, roughly paraphrasing, the days were shortened, then there would be no flesh to be saved. Because this man would kill all, all life." Okay. But yeah. Going back, uh, Romans 8 and uh, 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. That's talking about us, the creature, which are the Israelites. We're made subject to vanity. We're put in this flesh where we're, we sin, we go off. And on top of that, we're, we've been put under the rule of this, of this devil. So we're not living, man. We, we're just like that that chimpanzee. That chimpanzee is us. You may think you're free because you can go out of your house and go move around, but we're we're in the, we're in a cell as well. We're caged as well. Or the scriptures say the captive ex uh, the captive uh, exile hasted that he may be be loosed. Roughly paraphrasing. We're 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 uh, in captivity. That's why our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is coming back. That's why we can relate to these different animals and the zoos and these different creatures that Esau torture and uh, experiment on because we're, we're the same way. You had a thing called human zoos where people had uh, Esau had our people in actual cages for for people to come look and take you know look at and laugh and shit. Okay. But we have hope. We have hope of 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 freedom. We have the hope of one day to be free. That's what our Lord coming back and delivering us. Verse 21 because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of the Most High. That's soon to come. Okay, for we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. You see, so the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain. The whole earth is is in pain and suffering. The whole earth is, is waiting for the 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 new age, the true golden age. When our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai comes back, he's, he's not just coming back to deliver Israel. He's coming back to deliver the whole world from Esau. Okay. Even the heathen, the other nations, they, they're going to be happy because they're going to live. They're going to be able to live life and enjoy the earth. In peace, we're gonna show them how you how you're really supposed to live. How you supposed to treat nature? How you supposed to, you know, we're gonna have technology, we're gonna have infrastructure, but it's gonna be in harmony with the earth. We're not gonna be tearing up the earth in the process just so people can have smartphone smartphones, man. Okay, so that that's pretty much it. It is something I wanted to speak on through the spirit. All right, Lord, when I was edifying, I want to give all praise to you. How about Shai? To the next one.